Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at custom backgrounds in Teams. So we'll start with the Teams backgrounds that are there already. We'll look at how to add your own custom background ahead of Microsoft releasing that functionality. And we'll also have a look at how to turn yourself into a potato or a pickle using Snapchat Lens. I'm Gavin Jones and help companies with modern workplace transformations. All of the tips we put on YouTube have come out of real life examples, although this one's not particularly useful in real life. Uh, apart from a joke uh, or comments on our YouTube videos. So remember to leave us a comment if you want to know anything else. We've got a new video on YouTube coming out every Tuesday. So remember to hit the bell icon and click subscribe to get notified every time we release a new video. And if you haven't already, then click the free download link in the description below to get access to our slides to go along with our basic training series on YouTube, which is also linked in the description below. So let's get in and have a look at jazzing up our meetings. Okay, so let's get in and have a look at some basic background settings first. So I'm in a meeting right now with just me in the meeting and you can see I've got the normal blur options there. If I click on more actions and show background effects, that's what used to be called blur, because that was the only background effect that you could have. And then now you've probably seen it if it's live in your tenant. When you click that, the first option is blur, and then anything else is changing your background to something uh, different. So, so we've got lots of nice backgrounds to change our house, I guess, because most of us are working at home right now, to another house. So you can blag people you live in a nice modern uh, apartment or a, you've magically got some corner office in a trendy part of town uh, or you can just jazz up and say you want some nice uh, bubbles uh, or my fave especially living in the uk is maybe going to the beach in uh, miami or something like that so all these ones that you can see down to here uh, just by default. This hedgehog one is one I've added. That used to be our pet, Frank Chewbacca Jones, who's no longer with us. Uh, before we had kids, we had a hedgehog, but that's a picture I just uploaded. So Mike, when Microsoft announced the backgrounds feature, and in some of their videos, they've got an option up here to say upload your own image. That's not been rolled out yet. Don't know if it's still coming, presumably it is. But you can still get your custom pictures in the background settings, even without Microsoft doing that functionality. So you can get ahead of the game a little bit if you want to jazz up your background. So let's put it back to Frank um, so you can work and have your meeting with uh, whatever picture you want in the background. Obviously, if you've got a nice landscape, that might be better than uh, uh, something a bit busier, uh, like a hedgehog poking out from behind you, behind your head. And to do that, let's minimize teams pradeep has uh, done this blog post about how to set it up i'll link this in the description below um but basically you just need to go and put a file into this folder which was slightly different on my machine so i'll show you obviously you can see i'm using a mac but i've got parallels installed so i'll show you how to get to it in uh, windows because that's what most of you'll be using and you should be able to do this even on a work pc i don't think this bit is usually locked down but if you go to your uh, C drive and go users, I'm Vinny, so that's my nickname. You need to have view and hidden items ticked. Um, that's not ticked by default, then you can't see the folder that you need to go into. So make sure hidden items is ticked. Go to app data, uh, roaming, which is the bit that's not included in, in this uh, website, roaming then Microsoft, then Teams, Backgrounds, and then there's an Uploads folder. So whatever you want to appear as your background, you can copy into that folder, and then that'll appear in Teams. So if we just switch to so if we just switch to find another picture, so wherever you've got your picture saved, 
I've just set up a folder here with a couple of pictures in so uh, you don't see all of my picture library. And uh, if you just copy that one, which I'll do with the mouse so you can see what I'm doing. Copy, and if we go to this folder that we just had a look at and paste it in there, then you can see that now we've got that picture. We've got these two pictures in backgrounds, uploads. And then if we go back into Teams, not sure if we need to restart it, but if we go to background effects now, and scroll down, and then we've got another background to choose from. And if we click preview, you can kind of see what it's going to look like. It says others won't see your video while you preview. Um, you can see now we've got that, and we'll apply and turn on the video. So now I've got a nicer background, which I think was from Australia when I used to go traveling in my 20s. Um, that's how to get your own backgrounds in Teams ahead of Microsoft putting the functionality in, which presumably will be a lot easier because you'll just be able to click upload at the top of this background settings pane uh, rather than do all the stuff we've just done. But if you want to get ahead, that's how to do it. So if you really want to jazz up your meetings and you've heard, seen those news posts about someone's boss that turned themselves into a potato and then couldn't get out of it, even when they're having a really serious meeting, uh, which was hilarious, then uh, I'll show you how to do that. You might not be able to do this on your work computer if you can't install other apps. So if you're working from home and you've logged in to your personal computer, you can set this up. As a reminder, you can install Office on up to five other PCs, even personal ones, as long as there's not any other admin settings that your company's turned off. So let me come out of Teams in Windows. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I've installed Snap Camera, and I you can install this for Windows as well. But you can see now I'm previewing myself as a pickle. Um, there is uh, lots of different sections you can get in Snap Camera. I'll put the link to download Snap Camera in the description below, and it's even got a Win From Home section, so you can turn yourself into someone with a hamburger in an art with an eye. You can turn yourself into a math geek, which does the background and some other stuff for you. Uh, Scullington looks pretty random, so that's quite cool. Then how you get this into Teams is once you've installed Snap Camera, so you just jumped into a meeting again, we've still got the same options to do background effects, so blur or put anything as a background. Now how do you get the Snapchat camera to be your own camera? So rather than going through background settings, it's basically you just want to show a different camera. So we're going to go show device settings and instead of the normal camera, you'll then get an option to do snap camera. And when you choose that, that's when you get access to the snap camera. As you can see, it's blurring the background as well as picking up the snap camera. So they're sort of both working together. So if we do background effects and turn the background effect off in Teams, then it's picking up the background effect from snap camera and then whatever you choose in snap camera once you've changed your device setting to pick up snap camera rather than your webcam whatever you pick is then gonna come through got some funky hair color or oh, if we go on the school one that's then gonna show up in teams and to everybody that's on your meeting and that one might be quite a good one for Halloween maybe to freak people out, but that's how to properly just what you mean. So we went through how to set a background through Teams defaults, how to change your custom background, and then how to get Snap Camera so you can get some cool 3D effects whilst you're having a meeting, although people might get a bit bored of that, especially if it's a important meeting. So maybe just use that one for uh, social events at the moment. Okay, hopefully that was useful. If you liked it, remember to click the like button, click subscribe and the bell icon if you haven't already, and click the download link in the description below. If you haven't already, to get access to our slides and that go along with our full basic training series. You also get added to our email list and we've got some exciting news coming out this month, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching so far and we'll see you in the next video.